The metallic pipes can be passed through the conduit opening in any position, provided there is enough space between the wall of the conduit and between the ducted pipes. Make sure that the space between the pipes and the wall of the conduit and between the ducted pipes is in accordance with the minimum allowed distance as certified. The open free space in the conduit opening has to be filled with no ferno filler sleeves type 2719 and 1812. For ease of filling, the filler sleeves are also supplied in multi sets of 10 pieces. The filling ratio of 1812 to 2719 should be maximum 1 to 2. Before starting the installation work, the ducted pipes and the wall of the conduit opening should be cleaned. Dirt, rust and oil residues should be removed. Start filling the larger open spaces in the conduit by inserting sets of multi-filler sleeves. The installation of the Noferno sealing system is extremely fast when using the Noferno multi-filler sleeves. Besides, it makes it less complicated than using single sleeves. Due to the flexibility of the set of filler sleeves, the sets can easily be rolled up and then pushed into the narrow spaces. The smaller openings are now filled with parts of the sets of multi-filler sleeves. To tear off sleeves from the multi-set, the procedure is to do this backwards, forwards and not sidewards. This is because of the strength of the intermediate rubber parts. Single filler sleeves are used to fill the remaining small spaces in the set of fillers. Filling these spaces is of utmost importance to obtain a very tight fit of the filling inside the conduit frame. The single filler sleeves are inserted in the open spaces. At this stage, they can generally be pushed in by hand. At the final stage, to create a very tight fit of the whole set of fillers, the sleeves can be inserted with the help of flat nose pliers. A tight fit of the filling with filler sleeves is essential for the overall mechanical stability and the ultimate tightness ratings. Push the filler sleeves into the conduit in such a way as to leave about 20 millimeters of free space at the front and the back. Before applying the sealant, it is advisable to perform a final check on the packing of filler sleeves. A 20 mm thick layer of no ferno sealant is applied at each side of the conduit. When working on larger conduits like these, the sealant should be applied in two or more parts. Due to the fast curing of the top layer of the sealant, the amount of sealant should not be more than can be finished within 10 minutes. The conduit should be overfilled with no ferno sealant because some sealant will be pushed between and into the empty filler sleeves during further finishing. This will contribute to obtain higher tightness ratings. To smooth the surface of the no ferno sealant layer, a cloth is sprayed with water. This prevents the sealant from sticking to the cloth. Do not use soap water. The cloth is then used to press down the sealant layer. Pressing down the no ferno sealant in a stiff way is absolutely vital for the mechanical stability of the sealing system. The surface can be smoothed by hand. Just wet the hands thoroughly with soap and water. No dirty hands when working with no ferno and a very neat surface is the result. Prevent soap water to be applied on the sealant surface on which the next sealant will be applied. The adhesion between both layers will then be minimized. Then applying the sealant can be continued for the rest of the transit. Smoothing and finishing in the same way as for the first part of the sealant layer. For E120 class pipe penetrations, the minimum depth of the conduit is 150 mm. For optimum fire safety, especially in the case of larger ducted pipes, we advise to use conduit depths of 200 mm. The adhesive strength, in combination with the flexibility of the cured sealant layer, 
Any CUI, corrosion under insulation, inside the transit is avoided. The Noferno multi-pipe penetrations have been successfully tested for a fire resistance of more than 120 minutes.